Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Welcome back to another Schema Scapa video. Um, today's video, we're going to be looking at the trades I took in US 100. And it's 1.12 p.m. to 2.09 p.m. Uh, 3.7, I'm saying say 3.7% um, profit. Trade was hour, I just stayed in it for hour. Almost no draw, actually no draw down at all. Could have entered more, but I didn't, which is an issue. I should have pushed this win. Um, yeah, let's get into the charts. So this is the 11th of March. Let's just check that time again. 1.12 p.m. 1.12 p.m. I got in at this high. Uh, where I did that was... I looked at this as... The first run and stops. We've got the previous um, cycles high. Let's just make sure that's the actual. What am I doing? That's the that's the high. Got the previous cycles high. Let's move this out the way. Previous cycles high. Um, we've got the run and stops into that and now um, draw your attention to the break of structure which is here so this low fair value gap fair value gap as my break of structure just move it over so that you can see that line that words that's my break of structure and now it went into the fair value gap already but I thought it could go higher because there's still this breaker up here and if you say oh you can't really say that because this high is higher than this high so you can't argue that's a breaker it went below the low of that swing came back in I entered at the low of the breaker which is there I had a 12 point stop and then reduced it. 12 point stop and then since that is the breaker, I'm taking that high to that low, putting on a Fibonacci, uh, four standard deviations, and that's my target. Now I was looking at the, uh, the reaction here when it hit this. I was actually kind of losing confidence in the trade here. We had hit that 50%, went back up, and in the leg up, it didn't create a uh, fair value gaps down. So it entered this fair value gap, made a high, and then made a high above that fair value gap. So that made me lose a bit of confidence, but in the end, it is all well because it ended well. Yeah, that's what it is, and this would actually be without context, break of structure. But since the context is we're already coming off this high, and there's an area of liquidity below, which is the this low here, this low here. There isn't really a reason for price to stop here and reverse and go higher. Um, my hours drawn to these loads and that's where the my targeting came in. So that's my target. We had a break of structure there, uh false break of structure here. Yeah, and here we go. Is another breaker structure in my direction. So a fair value gap after this that I get traded to. So we've got this candle overlapping this fair value gap. I could have had another entry inside here. Inside this range. And then held it to target. 
that would have given me an extra let me just do a quick calculation maybe extra 1.7 1.8% by just having that extra entry that's free money basically because that's my target and my stop was already moved my stop was already moved to these highs after I seen this breaker structure so I could have entered more in the position and just push my win so that's something I should look at look into why I didn't do that and how I can do that in the future if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like comment and mm, the subscribe button is still red so you can click it <laughs>